Shakers, I'm Sita and I'm here at the Science Museum. Now, can you guess what we're going to explore today? Let me give you a few clues. You can find it in the sky. It's big and bright and sometimes you might need to wear these. Can you guess, Milkshakers? Yes, it's the sun! Follow me! The sun is actually a star. Our planet Earth orbits the sun, which means it circles it like this. Even though we can't feel it, the Earth is spinning and circling the sun right now. And even when we can't see the sun in the sky, we're still travelling round it. The sun is so big, our planet takes a whole year to orbit the sun. The surface of the sun is rough like this Satsuma. It looks like a giant ball of fire. The surface of the sun is 55 times hotter than a boiling kettle. Wow, that's hot! Isn't the sun amazing? See you soon, milkshakers! Good morning, milkshakers! I'm Sita and today I'm at the Science Museum. Now, can you guess what I'm going to explore today? Some people say it's made out of cheese and a cow jumped over it in a nursery rhyme. Do you know what it is? It's the moon! but a cow would have to jump very high to jump over it. Now, if it's not made of cheese, what is it made out of? Well, the surface of the moon is actually like volcanic rocks on Earth. This is an actual piece of the moon. Wow! It travelled all the way through space and is now here in the Science Museum. Isn't that amazing? Now, I don't think you would actually want to eat this in a sandwich. It's definitely not a piece of cheese. Although we can see the moon on a clear day, it's very far away. It's so far away that only 12 people have ever been on the moon. 12 astronauts! That's not a lot of people. The moon must be very quiet with no noisy humans or animals on it. There are no cats, there are no dogs, no noisy brothers or sisters and no milkshake. In fact, the moon has no atmosphere, so no sounds can be heard on it. Now that must be very quiet. I think I prefer the noise of the earth. See you soon, milkshakers! Good morning, milkshakers! I'm Sita and today I'm at the Science Museum. Now, can you guess what I'm going to explore today? They're sometimes called cosmonauts. They can be part of a space crew. Did you guess? We're exploring astronauts! Hey Milkshakers, look at this. It's a real-life spacesuit. It belonged to Helen Sharman. Not only was she the first Briton to go into space, she was also the first woman. Brilliant! Now, spacesuits are very hot, and when Helen was in it, she sweated two litres of sweat. That's enough to fill this bottle. And that was only on the launch into space. Ugh! Spacesuits are very heavy, and they've got all kinds of gadgets inside them to help the astronaut to breathe and stay cool. They're like a superhero suit. Did you know that every spacesuit is measured and made especially for its astronaut? So that means no two spacesuits are the same. I won't be borrowing this one then. Astronauts eat food like this. So it's food in packets that's had all the water removed from it. It doesn't look like much, but all the astronaut has to do is add a little water and it can be quite tasty. Look, there's even tomato soup. The Science Museum has taught me so much about being an astronaut. Bye, milkshakers! Have you ever seen the moon in the sky? It's easier to see when it gets dark and you can get a good look at it through a telescope. So what is the moon? Is it a planet? Nope, the moon is not a planet. It's Earth's satellite, which means it orbits round the Earth. Orbit means to circle. The first person to land on the moon was a man called Neil Armstrong. 
It took him and his astronaut crew, including Buzz Aldrin, four days to get there. And they landed in a moon lander like this one. It's called the Eagle. It looks like it's made from gold foil, but it's not. These gold sheets are made from plastic thinly coated with aluminium. They reflect the sun's heat in space. It can be pretty hot near the sun. Only 12 astronauts have been to the moon, and one of them was Alan Shepard. I bet you can't guess what he did when he was on the moon. He played golf. What would you do if you were on the moon, Milkshakers? See you, Buzz. Bye, Milkshakers. I'm here at the Science Museum. Come with me as we explore our planet, planet Earth. Earth orbits the sun, which means it circles it like this. But because the Earth is tilted, sometimes we're further away from the sun, which means it's cold and chilly. But when the Earth tilts towards the sun, that's summer, which means it's nice and warm. But we're not the only planet that circles the sun. There are seven other planets in our solar system that do it too. Mercury, Venus, Neptune, Jupiter, Mars, Uranus, and Saturn. But Earth is the only planet with humans on it. No human has ever landed on another planet, but scientists think that one day this might be possible. See you soon, milkshakers!